Hello everyone, this is Kurta giving you game two in a series between I Am Nesty versus Evil Genius's Machine here on Metalopolis and it looks like my computer is actually performing normally now. All right, so a little bit of strange action the first time around for some reason. Um, the, in the first minute, my computer started to go cr crazy on me and do some really strange things where the minerals were actually disappearing. Um, had to reload the replay. Also, turn down the settings just a little bit, but I'm sure I really don't know the difference between high and extreme. And I'm sure if there was any difference, the video encoding would just take it out anyways. Now, taking a look at the game so far, you can see both players have scouted out and now they're ma making their way with new positions on those overlords. Machine and and Nesty both deciding to move around with these overlords just in a bit of a different direction here. And they're going to pretty much fly by and see because that there is no creep. They know exactly where their opponent is. And it's more like a yin-yang once more as Machine does get underway. Now Machine in game one, I believe, went for Extractor Pool. We'll see if he goes for Extractor Pool again or if he goes for a Fast Hatchery. Now on a Metalopolis map like this, even on cross spawns, I think Extractor Pool is the safer bet. But it looks like Nesty is instead going to go for a Fast Hatchery. And it looks like Machine will be going for a Fast Hatchery as well. So Fast Hatchery coming in from both players. And it is at their natural expansions. How they use this is going to be absolutely key. If they use it to start mining away, getting a stronger economy. Or if they have the Hatchery set up there only to train up even more units the power of the zerg that a larva can really turn into anything else extractor now being built on by machine meanwhile we see nesty opting to go for that spawning pool first and this is really going to help nesty he's going to be able to get queens out a little bit more quickly he's going to have um, you know queens out a little bit quickly and that's going to translate into um into more natural defense and also more larva and more production it looks like the extractor is about to be completed here overlords now getting into position both sides are just going to park the overlords outside their opponent's base um, it looks like this overlord is going to do a quick flyby to see if the hatchery is set up and spot that creep and then back off there now machine about to get metabolic boost and um, started and underway he should be able to get up to about a hundred gas uh, precisely and then start that metabolic boost and it looks like he has stopped is he ha stopped harvesting gas no he is still harvesting gas so he may be going for a banelings nest meanwhile back over here nest t um he's gonna be a little bit behind in terms of his metabolic boost but it shouldn't really translate into very much at all we are seeing queen production double queen production from nesty that is gonna help out one queen down here one no queen at the main base so um Interestingly enough, Machine is only going to be running off of one queen. And that may hurt him in the long run in terms of just overall larva count. Zerglings are now making their way across the map. Machine going to do a bit of scouting first. But I, I really think that Nesty with his additional queen is going to be able to handle any early pressure. And also get a stronger economy going. 23 drones versus 22 right now. Machine slightly ahead. But... Overall food count does currently belong to Nesty, 31 to 29, perhaps that extra queen there. Roaches versus Banelings, Zerglings now being added still as we now see the queen make its way back onto the creep. Gonna hit and inject. I think it tried to shoo away that overlord, wasn't quite able to as now Machine getting 14 Zerglings. So that is a heavy, heavy number of Zerglings. He wants to try to win this war and time it just right, but the overlords do spot it. So we are going to see a sea of Zerglings now make their way across the map. And this is going to be huge. 20 Zerglings versus 2. But Roaches are being trained. The Zerglings are now making their way into the position over here. There is one Queen out of position. The Queen needs to perhaps get some injects. Roaches are just hatching just in time. And the Defender's advantage, advantage is going to come into play. Banelings are being morphed back over here. They're going to be trying to do a suicide run into the backside of the base. And they may be able to find their target if they're able to get there. Banelings trying to suicide and no, unable to do so. And really not quite sure what those Banelings were meant to do. Getting damage onto Roaches. 
not that important. Zerglings now going to try to push forward, but the Banelings are making their way in the backside here. Are they going to be able to detonate on anything is the key question. One Baneling is the... Are they going to go after anything at all? And now off of Creep, the Banelings going down and taking on a couple drones, but really not all too much. One worker killed as Machine is now behind. 29 drones versus 23. 29 drones versus 23. A queen also just going to shoo away that overlord there as the roaches know that they have a strong advantage. But the zerglings now coming around from the far side. The roaches are off of creep. And now in comes the zerglings. But the roaches are there to protect it. And now I believe the queen did get a couple quick kills there as another zergling goes down. Machine is in trouble. Machine has the small or machine has the larger army right now. And, so yeah, Machine actually, no, has a, has a larger army, but a smaller food count. No? How is this working? Nesty. Yeah, all right. Anyways, let me not really think about this. I'm, I'm sure it all makes sense. It's just not adding up correctly. As we now see the Zerglings getting engaged down over here. Queen going to get taken down. A large number of Zerglings back over here. Roach is engaging. Zerglings, for some reason, not engaging in this matchup. And now finally engaging after a Baneling tries to come in to able to take down the Queen. And now you see a Roaches and Zerglings battling it up. There is still one spine crawler in this group and a second spine crawler as well. Machine should be able to fend this attack off. The drones are not engaging though. So without the help of those drones, it looks like those spine crawlers are going to actually get even more damage. Or sorry, the Roaches are going to get more damage and perhaps even take down the spine crawler and Machine for some reason not engaging with those drones I think were the issue you can see that the roaches are all low on hit points and it could have taken down the roaches kept the spine crawler alive queen now coming in over here but I think that's already the beginning of the end machine just watching this knowing that he has lost and there is the GG so machine losing to Nesty in two straight games the Koreans winning today or a couple weeks back from MLG Providence Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening.